Tonight, a violent start to tornado season, toppling buildings while tearing others apart. Tornadoes ripping through nine states, flipping boats and smashing brick walls, including in Ohio, where the Logan County Sheriff says at least three people were killed. The damage is very, very significant, and it's just quite, it's quite, quite extensive. Search crews spent the day scouring collapsed buildings, traversing down power lines, and bringing in cadaver dogs to search for victims. Many places back there that are collapsed, uh, and we need to go back with heavy equipment to move those to make sure that there's anybody injured back there or possibly deceased. Susan Young was trapped inside this home in Lakeview, Ohio, yelling for help as the storm barreled through. It just took a roof and then just blew me down the hall. <laughs> you saw your roof? Yeah fly off. Yeah. What did yeah. you think when you saw that? Help. <laughs> I didn't know if I'd make it. Her entire block devastated. The result of the most active severe weather day of the year so far. More than 300 storms reported nationwide Thursday. We have houses leveled to the ground here. In neighboring Indiana, search and rescue teams are on the ground. Jesse Kirsch is there. Here in Winchester, Indiana, one hospital says it's treated more than two dozen people for injuries, including broken bones. Some businesses and homes here, devastated. In Missouri, hail smashed through windshields and battered homes. Experts say the warming climate is leading to more frequent tornadoes happening earlier in the year and further north than usual. On a day many lost everything, Susan tells me it could have been worse. Really glad to be alive. It was, it was scary. Shaquille, do authorities feel like they've accounted for all the missing? Lester, the county sheriff tells us tonight that the search and rescue mission is complete and everyone in the path of this tornado has now been accounted for. And while the governor said that this will be a long recovery road ahead, he says that despite the displaced homes and the businesses that have been destroyed, he vows this community will be back. Lester. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.